Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy DCG Readathon day one. It is currently very, very late or very, very early in the morning. It's it's 5.49 in the morning and I just thought I would start the vlog here because I have been reading and so um, I thought I would do kind of my little intro and also first update. The first challenge was Alphabet Goop, which starts today, December 6th, and ends on December 8th, which is Tuesday. So, for that, we had to select a random letter and pick a book from, or that starts with that letter, or like the author's last name starts with that letter. Um, and for that, I got Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because I drew the letter F. So. We are currently reading this and I'm really, really excited. I'm not far into it like at all. I'm like 50 pages in, but I'm really excited to kind of see where this story is headed. So, um, Fangirl follows a character named Kath and she's obsessed with this uh, fantasy sci-fi novel called Simon Snow and she writes fan fiction for him. And it's just kind of the story about her writing this fan fiction while also struggling with a lot of family issues. Um, her mom's gone. Her dad's very distant. She also has a sister and they have an interesting relationship. And so I'm pretty um, intrigued to see how I feel about this. I will link my TBR for the DCG Readathon if you want kind of more in-depth thoughts on all of the books that I'll be planning on reading for um, the next two weeks but I have read Rainbow Row in the past and I wasn't a huge fan but I'm thinking that this might be a little bit different and I'm enjoying it so far so um, we're just going to have to wait and see but I'm also currently listening to the audiobook of Mockingjay and it's not part of the challenges it's just something that I'm reading. Yeah, I like when a book makes me cry like I feel like it usually ups my rating to be honest with you because I'm like wow this book really made me feel something. I'm about 83% of the way through the audiobook, and so I'm definitely going to be finishing that. I'm actually going home tomorrow, or I guess today, because it's Sunday already. But I'm going back home today because right now I'm in my college apartment, but I took my last exam um, today or yesterday. I don't really know what day it is. And so I'm done for the semester, which is really exciting and really weird. But that means that I'm going home, which also means that I have a ton of time in the car to read and listen to my audiobook, and it's going to be a great time. So I'm going to take you guys along with me throughout the next couple days in this vlog as we do some reading, and I think it's going to be really fun. Hey everyone, it is currently 9.36 p.m. on Monday, December 7th, day two of the DCG Readathon, and I have not updated you guys at all today, and I'm really sorry for that, but I've been incredibly busy. Today was my first day studying full form for the LSAT. We got one month to go, so I'm really putting in the last grind effort right now and so that's been hectic and I didn't have a video to post today and so I decided to just film edit and upload all in one day and so my video is exporting right now so that took a while I also watched or attended um, the holiday reading sprints um, they were hosted on Haley's channel I will link that down below for you guys but um, it was Haley and a bunch of other really awesome booktubers that I love and I watch and that was really fun but that also took up about two hours but I did get a good chunk of reading in during that sprint um, I hadn't really picked this book up after I updated you guys at like six in the morning yesterday and so 
Well, that seems like so long ago, but um, I did want to give a quick reading check-in just to say that I have passed the 100 page mark of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and I'm actually enjoying it. I, I honestly didn't know what to think of it going in. I have heard so many good things about it, but I've also heard some people message me when I talked about reading this saying that they were very disappointed in the book. And so far, I am enjoying it. Um, there's nothing special going on. It just seems like a book about Kath and her life transitioning into college, writing her fan fiction, and just kind of finding herself. And it definitely seems like a huge coming-of-age story. And so if it's just that, I don't know if I'm going to love it. Um, but I feel like I'm enjoying this book more than the few of my friends who haven't enjoyed it and the few of you guys who've messaged me saying that you didn't enjoy it because I relate to Kath on a lot of different levels. Just her transition into college is so similar to how I felt and sometimes still do to this day, at least the like 110 pages that I've read so far and kind of learned about her. Her personality is sort of similar to mine and just in the way that she thinks and obviously i spend majority of my time reading and making videos about them and so her ideal friday saturday night is staying at home and writing her fan fiction or reading her books and that is definitely something that i can relate to um the books not the fan fiction but i just feel like i'm seeing so much of myself in her that it's just making me want to continue reading just to see how she grows and kind of not compare, but just, I guess, yeah, like see how that relates to how I've grown in my two and a half years at college so far. And so that's something that I'm definitely enjoying and I think I'm going to keep reading in. I might actually really end up enjoying it. As of now, I just don't see a lot more to the plot. I don't read a lot of contemporary, so maybe this is just how contemporary books are, but I'm still enjoying it is kind of the whole purpose of this but those are kind of all the reading updates for the dcg readathon i had um but i don't know if i updated you guys on here about my other reading and i guess i'll just throw it in because i'm not filming like a weekly vlog or anything because i'm just going to be filming the dcg vlogs for the next two weeks but i did finish mocking jay by suzanne collins and i gave it a four out of five stars i really enjoyed it i am now listening to um mirage by samia dodd according to script i'm 28 percent of the way through and i have about six hours and 26 minutes left so um i'm really really liking that so far it's definitely different than what i thought it was going to be i'll give more of my thoughts on that book i think tomorrow just when i have a clearer head because right now i'm really focused on trying to get this video up before 10 p.m so those are kind of all my updates for now i don't really have much else to say for the rest of the night because i will just be reading i really want to get to page 250 tonight just so i can easily finish this off tomorrow and i don't have to be like stressed about it and i can get that book off um on the last day of part one and submit it to get my points and everything and i think i'm going to split this vlog up into um challenge like by challenge so that is all for now and i guess i will just update you guys tomorrow morning hello everybody it is now about one o'clock on tuesday it's december 8th so it's the last day that i can read for the first challenge for dcg readathon and i just wanted to give you a quick update on my progress in fangirl by rainbow rowell on page 189 so just under 200 pages i think i have about 240 pages left of this book and i can definitely definitely finish that today but a lot of audiobook reading is going to be done because if you can't tell by the state of my bed my room is an absolute disaster i took the um bookstagram picture yesterday for the first challenge and so i still haven't cleaned that up and i have 
a bunch of books, other books from a recommendation video that I filmed that should be up before this vlog. I think it's actually the video right before this one. So I have that. I still haven't unpacked from Sunday night and I have a bunch of laundry to do. That box that you saw was just full of books that I need to find space on my shelves for, which I definitely don't have space, but I'm going to um, Ikea this weekend to buy a new bookshelf. And so I think I'm going to do a reorganization video because I always love watching those. And I think that that'll be really fun. So also stay tuned for that video whenever that happens. I just have so many videos that I want to film and upload before the end of the year. And it's just been very hectic. So all that is to say that I'm going to be listening to a lot of Mirage today, but I'm, I'm really enjoying both of my reads so far and I'm hoping to definitely finish Fangirl tonight so it'll count towards the challenge and I definitely think I can do it, so yeah. Hey guys, it is now actually the next day. It's Wednesday, December 7th, which is the start of the second challenge of the DCG Readathon. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because I've decided I wanted to make them individual vlogs for each different challenge because I think that will be really, really fun. So I did want to still talk about Fangirl because I obviously did finish it last night and I ended up giving it a two out of five stars. I I have a lot of thoughts about this book and I'm definitely going to be chatting through it more in my wrap up and unfortunately in my worst books of 2020 video so stay tuned for that if you want to hear more in-depth thoughts about this but really all I can say in this vlog is I felt like there was no plot. There was nothing really happening throughout the entire story it just it was nothing new it wasn't anything i haven't seen before and the writing style was a little cringy for me at times and there were a lot of things that i just didn't find special in this book i feel like it had no purpose it just was a story about a girl in her freshman year of college and there wasn't really much happening. I felt like there were, I think, one or two big things that happened in this entire book and they weren't even given as much importance as I would have thought, you know? So yeah, the only thing that stopped me from giving it a one out of five stars was the fact that I did relate to Kat's character to an extent in terms of her freshman year experience because I, not that I had a similar experience, but I just was feeling a little nostalgic and it really brought out some emotions in me, which is always something that I appreciate in books. And so that's why I ended up giving it a two out of five stars. I'm really disappointed. I thought I was going to love this. I also thought that the elements of Simon Snow that was that were sprinkled in here, like some of the passages that we had at the end of every single chapter and just the different mentions throughout the story were kind of a cheap imitation of Harry Potter in my opinion and I don't know if the author was trying to make this like the Harry Potter in this world but they also mentioned actual Harry Potter so I don't know what she was trying to do there but Rainbow Rowell really is not an author that I plan on picking up anything from anytime soon. I don't think I'm going to pick up Carry On. I was really excited for it. I was really excited to read this and look forward to reading Carry On, but I don't think I'm going to be reading it. It's just not my cup of tea. Her writing style is not my thing, and honestly, the only reason I didn't DNF this book was because I wanted to complete the challenge. So, those are kind of my brief-ish thoughts on fangirl let me know down below if you enjoyed it if you read it and why you liked it because i really can't find anything about it aside from the nostalgic value that i enjoyed so please let me know down below and if you also didn't like this book also let me know because i feel like that's such an unpopular opinion to not like fangirl so yeah, but that is going to be all for today's vlog. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't. And I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.